Michael, we've, we've got the news when we came into the, the media room. Could you just tell us your thought process and, and why you've decided to do what you've done? Uh, yeah, could be here, could be here all night, Simon, if I talk you through the whole thing. Um, nah, nah, it's 15 and a half years I've been here now, um, and it literally it takes over your life. It should do as well. Um, dedicated everything I could possibly do to, to as a player, um, and obviously as a coach. And I promised my family when I was playing that after I finished playing, because because you put so much into it, um, that I'd retire and, and we'd have a bit of time together. And, um, it never happened. I came straight into coaching, and um, it consumes your time even more. Um, just in recent, in kind of recent days, and, and um, it's just that good feeling. That time, time is, uh, time is right. Feels right. It's not been easy to to to, um, to make the decision in that respect. But in terms of family and, and, and how I feel right now, I'm, I'm really content and. and Happy and looking forward to, to what's ahead. But um, it's a roller coaster. It's been amazing. I've had incredible memories. Some special nights tonight. Obviously, was was, was special. Um, but tonight wasn't wasn't about me. It was the players and the fans and um, experiencing them, them type of nights, which which you should do. Uh, could you tell me when you told your coaching team and also when you told the players? Yeah, I told the coaches the close. I say close to the kind of um, the immediate first team coaches. I told them today um, around, around lunchtime, and then I told the players um, straight after the game. Um, I didn't want anything to be about me today. It was all about the players and getting the getting the right result. So I told them just after straight after the end of the game, they're in the changing room. So um, slightly emotional, obviously. Um, probably caught them off guard a little bit, but. Um, yeah, it's a terrific group of players, and, and I'm sure they'll go on to to um, to great things. I'll be supporting them. I'm not I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I'll be supporting them home. I'm supporting them away. My son's driving me mad to take them to an away game again. So um, I've told the players I'll be right behind them. Jim Collin. Hi, Michael. Michael, what was it like the last few months working uh, with Cristiano Ronaldo again and having him back in the club? Obviously, you've had some great times with Cristiano in the past. Yeah, it's great to see how he's developed and matured, actually. Obviously, he's older. He's a lot younger, as we all were. And, and to see kind of how he's gone full cycle and come towards um, not quite the end of his career, obviously, but you know coming towards that the, the later stages. And um, I think just seeing how how he goes about his business, how his his mentality, his attitude, and um, and obviously his quality. I mean, to score so many goals and um, it's 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 incredible. Um, he's been terrific this week, especially for me. Um, Things I've asked of him and the way the way he's gone about it, his business in and around the players, he's, he's been absolutely top 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 draw. Um, so no surprise that he goes and scores again tonight. Uh, the perfect ending, really. Ben well done tonight, Michael, um, and well done on a successful caretaker stint as well. Um, how do you look back on this little period? Three matches, obviously two wins and a draw, and I just wonder, has it kind of changed your mindset on when you might want to step into management full-time? Uh, it hasn't changed. Sorry, Michael. I don't know if you can hear me still. You've been muted there. I'll jump in. Um, I don't know what's happened now. We lost you at the start of that answer, so apologies. There we go. I think we've got you back again, Michael. Um, could, um, could you take the call? Now being Thank you. Yeah, should we start again? Um, I was just asking, obviously, about that stint as care in caretaker charge, and 
obviously, you know, how much you enjoyed it and whether or not that's changed your mindset and when you might want to step into management full time. Possibly. I don't know if I enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, I still can't write the fact that I really should, should be in this position. It's not a plan. So, initially, like I've said, all week was. Uh, was a little bit strange to get used to, but as, as it's gone, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, everyone's given me so much support, and the players and the staff, backroom staff especially, have been incredible with making my job a lot easier. Um, whatever happens in the future, I can honestly sit here saying, no, I've got no no immediate plans, or I'm not chasing anything, I'm just I'm ready for a break, I'm ready for a deep breath, and um, to kind of take it all in, really. Well, you went well. Hi, Michael. Um, I know you said they told the players after the game, Bruno seemed to give you quite an endearing hug at the end. I just wondered what that might have been about. And also, have you spoken to Ralph about the team and sort of your ideas and given him your input on what he might do with them? Uh, yeah, Bruno's still moaning that I didn't play him last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, nah, listen, I've, I've worked with the players closely for, 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 for so long now. and uh, We've got great respect for each other. And, um, that's... It's quite nice to have, nice to see. Uh, um, you know, I'm almost one of them. You know, we're in it together, and we've gone through some good times and some tougher times together. So, um, I think that brings you closer together. This week certainly, it, it, it's got some way to do with that. Um, and yeah, it's it's life, I suppose. That's football. But um, in terms of what going forward, yeah, I think it's hopefully tonight turns out to be a big result for the, for the boys. You know. In, in, given that belief that I keep driving onto them all week about that. Um, such a good group of players and um, there's, there's there's so many things they can achieve. Uh, yeah, there's things that we've got to do better. We know that, but I think the way they've gone about the business in these three games is credit to them. Showed, showed aside that people maybe were questioning. So um, hopefully tonight turns the corner for them and, and we can go on to, to in a good run of games to, to have a good run and finish the season strong. Games for that. Michael, when you, you look at the last few years in coaching and what is involved to be successful and how time consuming it is, how all consuming it is, is it giving you a sort of a clear insight into whether that's actually something you want in your life going forward or whether it's just something that is so all consuming that takes over it? It's, you, you maybe want some pause for thought over. Yeah, listen, you, you, you've got to go all in, you know, since since I, since I walked through the doors here, you know, it's pure dedication and, and, and the club takes over your life. Um, there's no getting away from it at any moment, you know, it's um, it's everywhere um, for the good and for the bad. But that's, you, you take that and you accept that and you being, being here, the highs and the lows are extreme. Um, I've had a bit of both and I've experienced both. Um, and the players have obviously done the same now in, in recent times. And, um, yeah, I've, I've, I have to say I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. What's next? I don't know. To be honest, I really don't know what's next. Um, but I have enjoyed it as the week's gone on. Okay, you need to finish up now. So one from Brad Cox. Hi, hey, Michael. Um, I know you don't want to think about the future too much, but how long do you think it'll be before we see you and Ollie in the away end at some point? <laughs> Um, that's one of my biggest things. My son's desperate for me to take him, so uh, it probably won't be very long. I'll be, I'll be, um, I'll be onto the place for tickets for me to try, <laughs> try to make some comps off them for the away end. Um, yeah, it's that's the type of thing that, that uh, I'm looking forward to doing with the family. You know, spending time with my son, my daughter, my wife, and um, things that we've never been able to do because I'm never around. Uh, that's. That's part of the reason, one of the biggest reasons that, that I've made my decision. So it probably won't be very long is the answer to your question. Okay, 